one two one two maybe put the uh media mod on it i'll do oh okay Ah, uh, this is a good start. Uh, I forgot that when the tripod hit the stream, the arc plate got wedged on it, and I'm going to need tools to get it off. Fortunately, I do have another one in the car, and I'm only a couple hundred yards from the car, so I'll go and get that fixed now. Wow, it's a lot windier than I expected up here. Thank you, roaches, as ever. Um, it, definitely, we've got a lot of fog. Now, the other thing is that I've just taken a quick shot with the lens, and it seems quite soft on the left hand side so that's that's going to be almost certainly a result of it's going for a swim so i'm just i'm going to finish off a couple of shots here i'll show you these in a second but then i'm going to switch to the 50 mil and try and work with that um i just think this is going to need a, a good clean up anyway so these beautiful trees as you can see the, the fog is uh, beautifully texturizing the landscape around them uh, got a little bit of light coming up at the top, it's so not a problem. Uh, sun rises over there, so, you know, that's where the brightness is. And then the the barn is just up there by those three trees. You can't quite see it yet, so when I get closer, that should look all right. But for, for now, I'm going to do this shot. So, walking around this gives me lots of different options. So, for example, if I just walk down here... I can, well, it's not really doing it justice at the moment, but I can make that one tree, uh, two, the two trees look like one. There you go, see it closing up now, boom. So, you know, you can really play around with these just from perspective. Uh, as it stands, I'm gonna do a couple of shots, maybe a couple of monochrome, and then I'll move on to the barn. <laughs> just to show you, you can probably see here it's all soft and I've had a look at the front of the lens and I can definitely see some uh, it's just it's just residue from its swim uh, so I get it cleaned anyway uh, and also I've got this at 50 mil uh, oh, come on so I can just uh, whip the lens off the Canon M50 put it on here and away we go so what have we got well the barn looks fine I wanted to separate this tree um, and the only way I'm going to manage that I've walked around quite a bit without getting too close to the barn is I'm gonna to have to do it in Photoshop we will look at these colors coming up behind it that's from the sunrise so I think that might work actually but I'm gonna switch out the lens I'll take a couple of shots uh, and then I'm just gonna walk around it and see what I can come up with but it looks quite ethereal I like it quite away from it uh, but it's still if I go any further I'm just going to lose the, the composition I'm after so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to cheat it a little bit I'm going to do a pano and then stitch it together see if that works out because ideally what I'm after is a 16 by 9 I want the trees down that side and up there I want all that in and then I want a little bit either side as well quite I want yeah that's what I want so panoramic See if that works. Okay. 
Okay, so if you come up to the roaches and you want to find this barn to photograph it, and why shouldn't you? It's rather nice, super easy to access as well. Just a lumpy field to go across with a few bemused sheep. Uh, just head to Roach End, so the opposite end from where Hen Cloud is. There's very few parking spaces, it's very narrow. I say it all the time, come early. But you can get to this dead easy, just walk around the corner, cross the cattle grid. There's a rabbit. And uh, I'm easily distracted, I am. And then you can just wander over and get it photographed. And then, and it seems not everybody knows about these, I don't know why, but if you walk around this gaff, carry on across the field, through the gap in the dry wall, uh, dry stone wall, not dry wall, you'll find another set of buildings. Now, hello sheep, hello sheep. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not so fussed about buildings as you know, but there's, uh, there's a lovely opportunity to take a photograph of a tall tree that's between, well it looks like it's between, it's not really, uh, to gate posts. So yeah, come up and have a look at that. So what I've decided to do, I'm going to take my trusty Canon M50, which is, is much better for handheld photography, which I'm not good at. Uh, I need way more practice. Uh, but I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to take this and just wander around, get a few shots, uh, have the quality of life that a mirrorless gives me. You know, like really good focus, super fast, that kind of thing, whereas the Canon 5DS, I have to do like proper photography stuff. So I'll just have a wander around this little area, shoot a few, uh, what do they call them, abstract shots, which just means I couldn't get a good composition. <laughs> I'll put them up and then I'll probably have a cuppy. Yeah, we can share that too. Back in a bit. raining it's not heavy at the moment I'm just getting the odd drops what a ball lake I just yeah you clearly come to my videos to watch me moan I'm never happy am I never happy I'm so English um, I don't know what I'm gonna do here uh, my only interest really is is how the trees look in the fog and using these angles on the buildings to set up a composition and that they're old of course I mean I wouldn't you know if it was a bungalow there I wouldn't be I wouldn't be photographing it so I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to have a wander around just to see if there's anything for me I think it's a nice place for me to look about but without this is weird I should have gone to Woodland but I, I headed over to Longdor and there was no fog so you know it wouldn't have been any good this is this is as good as i'm going to get this morning i'm not complaining it's lovely to be out it's beautiful and i can wander down to the roaches and have a walk if i want which i don't want but um yeah it, it's the it's the nature of it being in clumps and having to drive around to find out where it is it's just a bore like i don't want it i just want to get out and get my camera out. so i apologize for my constant whining um but you know these vlogs are about sharing experience aren't they apparently and uh, I, there's nothing I like more than moaning to people. So these are perfect for me, good for my mental health. There you go, argue that. Nice uh, 
nice thing about these old places is trying to figure out what life was like back then. Possibly the buildings to the right were houses of some sort, little cottages, don't know. But what they are for us is moss covered things of compositional beauty. Let's have a quick gander in here. To be honest, doesn't look much different from my gaff. Oh, wow tea time somehow uh, lemon wipes keep appearing in me uh, pockets sorry kfc okay so yeah we've got this week uh we've got uh that same well same uh, guys actually turmeric with orange and salt and east i still don't know what that is uh citrus and ginger i think i had that last week no thank you uh, turmeric, orange, same thing. And then we've got glow, strawberry and cucumber with green tea and aloe vera. So I'm going to try that. Uh, just for the record, because apparently it's a thing you have to do, I'm not at all sponsored by Thermos, Twinings, Canon, DJI, uh, or anyone in actual fact. So I'd just like to say that's probably an oversight and you should get in touch. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it smells nice. I'll right, put that in my pocket because I don't want the wind catching it and blowing it away and adding to this nation's litter problem. Um, get my thermos. You remember I've recommended this. I don't put tea in it or anything in advance because if you let your drink stew, it's like Satan's piss. Don't do it. Just put hot water in and then add it to your drink when you're in the field, literally in the field. I saw a dog air in there then. A bloody dog of mine. Do you know, if I'm at home and I'm eating my tea and there isn't hair on my food, I think I'm in the wrong house. Bloody animal. So this is probably going to be a short video. Um, I think, I think it's going to, the, the fog's going to clear pretty quickly. Uh, I may nip down to the roaches, to the sort of semi wooded area. It's had a lot of trees cut down and I know it's conservation, but it breaks my heart. And my favorite tree there has been butchered they've chopped so much off it i don't know what that's all about anyway i might do that maybe even have a walk up to the top i don't know but i, I may i may not even take the big camera and all the gear and i think that the accident last week with the stream uh knocked me a little bit and i want to get my lens cleaned i think once my lens is cleaned and checked and i'll get another look at the camera as well pay the extra uh they're good guys who do my gear and they do it a lot uh i think then maybe i'll be a bit more confident again but yeah not me because i felt really stupid because it was entirely my fault Ugh. yeah uh, i'm not going to go out onto the road it's easter weekend it's going to be packed it's going to be people everywhere enjoying themselves and fair play to and i'm really glad that they're out in the peak district doing that um as long as they're not leaving litter or dog shite everywhere just enjoying it for what it is so yeah um i don't know if there'll be more photographs as there is if there isn't then please do you know like share subscribe comment um send gifts and care packages uh be kind apparently you know all that kind of stuff do that and then uh i'll say goodbye but if not, if there are a few shots to be added, I will put them on immediately after this. Now, let's try, let's try this it's strawberry and cucumber and stuff. You ready? Actually quite nice.
okay. I like this. I could do... No, it's no milk. Don't have milk with these things. <sighs> yeah. This is all right. <laughs> See you soon.